hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be talking you through affordable drugstore skincare products so these are my go-to skincare products um things that i've been using for a long time i'm going to cover everything from cleansers toners moisturizers and i'm going to move on it's not just going to be based on like face skincare i'm going to talk about body as well and i'm going to also talk you through I'm going to touch on the topic of like shaving and how to like the measures I take, the things that I use to help with like razor bumps and that kind of thing. But I'm not going to go into too much detail because I feel like that will be a separate video. So if you're interested, do stay tuned. Okay, so before I go into um, the skincare products and talk you through everything, guys, I just want to tell you the kind of skin that I have. I have combination to oily skin. Um, so yeah, my skin has a bit of everything, especially on my face. Um, I'm usually oily around the T-zone area. When I say oily, it can be really excessive. But since I've taken my skincare routine seriously, it's not as much as before. Before I couldn't even wear makeup for like an hour without not doing anything to my face because I get so greasy and shiny. Um, I also have sensitive skin around the cheeks. So I go red sometimes around the cheeks and even on my nose sometimes. I also have dry skin on my face. Again, my nose sometimes peels. I get dry skin, like scabs around my face. So my face has a bit of everything um, and it's prone to spots. So say I don't take my makeup off properly or I don't cleanse my face properly, I will get, I will break out the next day. And sometimes, you know, with breakouts, you can't really help it with hormones and all. So yeah, that's my skin type. I have combination to oily skin. So most of the products that I'm going to talk about are for combination to oily skin. Um, yeah and for body i have normal skin i'm gonna just talk you through like what lotion i use and some of the body scrubs that i use especially before i shave to like help with like razor bumps and ingrown hairs stuff like that okay so okay. i'm gonna tackle like the face bit first um and we're gonna talk through cleansers i like to stick to the same brand a lot because it's just easier sometimes um so i like garnier a lot so these are my two cleansers that i use from garnier um i have this one which is the pure active one and this is for yeah it's basically for oily and spot prone skin it's really good um yeah, it just makes your face feel really clean and if you're someone that has blackheads what i do is i pair this with like a face brush the spin face brush and it really really helps so this is one of my cleansers really good for times when you're really greasy because it does really help with that um the next one is oh this is the wrong one the next one is this one so it's also garnier so this is the orga organic um collection this is the detox gel wash i really like this face wash because it's just so fresh it makes my face feel so fresh when i use it in the morning it foams up quite nicely and it's really gentle on my skin again this one is for normal to combination skin so this is like my go-to every day but times when i feel like my skin feels a bit more greasier i opt for this one instead but yeah like or when i'm like taking my makeup off i would go for this one because times like that i'm really greasy um yeah they're just really these two cleansers are really good and they're really affordable i'm not sure what price they're going for at the moment but i will put everything in the description box down below um so that's my two favorite go-to cleansers the second thing will be toners i don't really use a lot of toners i only use one because i found one that has just worked for me this is the one that works for me so this is also um from the Garnier organic line is it's made with thyme and it's got salicylic I hope I'm pronouncing this right salicylic acid so salicylic acid is meant to be really good for oily skin so this one is for combination to oily skin as well and you know the whole point of toners is to like balance your pH levels and remove excess oil 
and this one i find when i use it especially after my cleanser it picks up the extra dirt that your cleanser couldn't pick up and my face doesn't feel greasy and it's just nice before i put my moisturizer on to use a toner and this one is the only toner that i have found that really really works well for my skin type so it's definitely a must have if you have oily skin or combination skin um yeah so i use i like to use um face mists as well yeah they're not really ne necessary but these are the ones that i use i have the garni organic one as well this one is for dry too sensitive skin but yeah i just use this even when i'm like doing my makeup i spray it on my sponge and use this it just it's just refreshing but it's not a necessity but it's really nice and gentle which is why i opt for this one and i like this one as well the body shop one this is the mandarin energizing one so it's like a vitamin c um face mist the good thing with vitamin c is it's brightening so at times when i feel like i have dark spots um i would use like a vitamin c serum and i'll just spray my face with this one um it gives a really nice glow this one gives a really nice glow it's not the cheapest out there for the bottle size and everything it's not the cheapest out there but it's manageable so i don't know how much this one sells for right now at the moment but i will put a link everything will be down below um so these are my two like face mists the next thing i would go into is moisturizers so finding mo a moisturizer for oily skin is a battle i looked hard to find one that works what i find is if you're someone that gets really greasy opt for something that's like gel not cream or lotion gel works really well because it just yeah it absorbs really easy and it doesn't leave you too greasy so you want to go for something that's gel and you want it to be mattifying as well but not drying it has to kind of have a good balance where you're moisturized you're not too dry and yeah it just absorbs in easy so you can put your makeup on or whatever on so this is the one that i use i use the skin active it's called pure active matte control um this is garni as well i really like this one because it also works as a primer so I put this on and I don't have to use a primer and I can just go straight into putting my foundation on. Um, it's just really nice. I haven't found anything quite like it. The Garnier Organic line has a moisturizer as well. It's a lemongrass one and it's good. But the thing with that one is when you put it on your face, it kind of flakes. It's, it's a moisturizer. It's a really light um, consistency. So... It absorbs nicely into your skin but i find it kind of like flakes when it comes to face moisturizers this is the best one that i have found hands down so this is my daytime moisturizer before i put makeup on this is my go-to and it has a nice feeling it's like it has a nice tingling sensation to it i really like this one so if you're oily you're an oily girl or boy and you're looking for a good moisturizer this is one that's really worth trying and at the moment i know they they sell for really like a good price i think they're like three pounds something i'm not too sure but like i said everything will be in the description box so the next thing now on moisturizers is i'm going to talk you through my nighttime like moisturizer so with the affordable staying in the affordable drugstore range this is a moisturizer and serum it's a two-in-one one so it's a serum and moisturizer and it's made by super drug i really like the super drug line because they're really gentle they're like vegan products they don't test on animals which is really nice this one has a really nice smell and because it's a moisturizer and serum you can skip say if you're someone that does serums on wednesdays you can just use this and it's moisturizer and serum you to kill you kill two beds with one stone which is amazing and it's really cheap this one as well i can't remember but i think it's two pounds something or three pounds somewhere in that range somewhere there but yeah this is like my nighttime moisturizer i have another one as well but yeah that doesn't fall within affordable so <laughs> i'm sticking to this one um okay so i'm gonna now talk you guys to 
serums and oils that I use for my face. I have three that I use, three of my favorite ones. Um, this one is by Palmer's, is the skin therapy oil for the face. They have one for body as well, which I have as well. It's really greasy, so you use this before bed. If you're someone that, especially if you have oily skin, you don't want to walk around looking at like an oily mess, girl. Ain't nobody got to see you looking like that. You got to look your best. So you want to use this before you go to bed. So I usually use this. Then I use my moisturizer to lock in extra moisture. So this one, I think is a bit on the pricey side, but it lasts a very long time. I've had this for over a year and yeah, it's really full. I use this like once a week, but not every week because I have others <laughs> that I'm going to talk you through. Um, my next face oil, this one, is also from the Garnier Organic line. So it's like soothing lavender face oil. This face oil really shocked me because it's not greasy. You know when they say the oil is dry? I'm always like, how can oil be dry? But let me give it a shot. I bought it and I tried it and I love it so much. So at times when your skin feels extra dry and you even want to use it in the daytime before you use your moisturizer, it really works because it absorbs really easy and it just doesn't leave you too greasy like a normal oil would. So I really, really like this um, face oil. It's for all skin types, this one. So if you're looking for a good face oil and you don't want to break the bank too much, this this one is a good one to look into. It smells divine, so give it a shot. Um, the next serum that I'm gonna talk about is this vitamin C serum, also by Superdrug. I really, really love the products that Superdrug make, especially this collection is really nice. Um, this serum, I'm gonna try guys, show you the, the way it is. So it's got this type of thing. Um, yeah. So it's just really nice. You can use this during the day as well, before you go out, before your moisturizer. It smells good and it just absorbs really, really easy. And it leaves a nice glow. That's the good thing about vitamin C. So why I use vitamin C is my skin can get dull sometimes and I get like dark spots or like dark under eye circles. So times like that, I like to use a vitamin C serum because it kind of just gives your skin a boost um and it helps with dark darkening skin darkening stuff like that um so this one has a my under eye gets really really dark <laughs> so this one has a brightening under eye gel as well so it's the same collection same super drug um so if you're someone that gets dark under eyes and say you're looking into something to help this helps but you have to be consistent with it so use it maybe morning and night twice a day so it's a brightening eye gel absorbs really nice and yeah vitamin c good stuff affordable by Superdrug. i think this is vegan as well and they don't test on animals which is amazing you know so that's something to look into um so wait i covered serums ah uh, let's talk about spf so usually i find with especially with drugstore products that cater to oily skin or combination to oily skin the moisturizers never have spf in them which is really annoying because that means you have to buy an extra spf and sometimes say like my moisturizer where's my face moisturizer so this face moisturizer that i use mixes well because it's gel i find it mixes well with a lot of other spfs so it mixes well with this but some face moisturizers don't exactly mix well with other things so it's really good to opt for a moisturizer that already has spf in it but like i said for what i've noticed is for oily skin like moisturizers for oily skin often they don't have spf in it which is irritating but what can you do you just got to make it work so i use this one i like to use the 50 plus because it's a high, you know, and I use this all year round. I use this in winter, summer, autumn, every day, all day, I use an SPF. So this is the one by Eucerine. Um, 
it's the oil control one the good thing about face spf is now they do the oil control ones so you know it's not greasy and it just feels really nice on your skin especially if you have oily skin you gotta take all these little things into account because girl walking around looking oily is annoying how much blotting paper can you actually even use ah it gets irritating so this one i really like um it was 16 pounds which i feel like for a drugstore product it's not too bad you can manage and it's, it lasts a long time it can last you the whole year but if 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 it's a bit too much for you there's another one that nivea does i was using this for the longest time i got this one because i couldn't find that one all the same this is a really good one but that nivea one is also really good it's also an oil control one i'm gonna find it and put it in the description box anyway it's eight pounds so it's half price and it mixes well with like a gel moisturizer as well and it has spf 50 plus so that's a good one to look into but this eucerin one is really nice as well so it's like a sun gel cream and it says it's dry touch which it really is so if you have oily skin or combination skin and you're looking for an spf to use drugstore this is a good one or the nivea one which will be in the description box um so now I've, i think i've covered everything to do with okay let's talk about face masks and face scrubs ah i don't use a lot of face masks like different ones i stick to two that i really like so i like to use one that targets like black blackheads because it's a, it's a real struggle around this nose area it, it's hard it's a tough life so i use this one it's this is just amazing because it's three in one it's a wash scrub and mask this is by garnier as well skin active yes skin active and it's for oily spot prone skin and yeah it just really works really works well when i put it on i feel like it's just sucking everything out of my face <laughs> it's just uh, sucking everything out and when you like say you can wear it as a mask and when you're washing it off of course it's also a scrub it has like grits so you can also then use that to scrub your face so there you go face mask face scrub all in one it's really nice um this one I managed to convince everyone that i know to get this <laughs> my sister I had to convince my sister to get this because it's just a really good face mask um i don't know how much these are at the moment because literally i've had this for a long time but yeah they are affordable and it will be down below <laughs> so if you're looking for a face mask this is my go-to one like i said three in one you cannot beat that and if you have oily skin it feels really nice on your skin so look into this one and this is also my favorite oh i love this face mask so much it was actually a present the person that gave me this i hold you so dear to my heart <laughs> so this is the l'oreal um pure clay detox mask it's a really nice face mask um yeah you know how it says it's detox when you put it on you actually feel like this thing is detox because ah, you put it on and it just dries and it feels like everything is just coming out of your skin it feels really nice it has a nice tingling sensation to it so i think i usually leave it on for like 10 minutes or sometimes even longer i'm one of those people i put it on and i go and do something else till it starts falling off starts flaking off i'm like oh i gotta wash it off but yeah it's so tight as well when you wear it and it's drying out you can't even smile it just feels like your face is cracking so this is a really good face mask um yeah i don't know how much these sell i think these are a bit more pricey than the garnier ones but it's not too bad i will put everything down below okay um i think oh pore strips i use this pore strip um it's by beauty formulas i don't know where you can get this online though i don't know what shop because i get this from my local savers um but yeah i think you can find them probably on ebay i will find a link somewhere but yeah these are just like charcoal um pore strips so i get really a lot of blackheads on my nose so this is good you just stick it on for a while then you strip it off and kind of just pulls everything out it's a really good one it's really sticky 
it can even hurt sometimes but it's a really good one they have like more expensive ones i think even garnier skin active has one but this one unbeatable look at it guys look at it look at it it's, it's really good it's, it's a good one so if you have black heads on your nose and you want to try a pore strip that's affordable this is a good one to try um oh i feel tired <laughs> talking actually is exhausting um now i'm gonna talk about like what i do for like when i get the odd spots here and there i don't break out often but sometimes when your hormones are playing out or you've eaten a bit of oil too much oil or for me it's nuts peanuts if i eat too much peanuts i break out or say i didn't take my makeup off properly i was feeling lazy the next day i'll have a spot here and there to deal with and this is what i do for when i get spots so tea tree oil this is a good one it's 100 percent pure i don't know how true that is but that's what it says so this one um then pseudo cream here we go these two is what i usually mix for spots so i put like one or two drops of the pseudo cream with the what am i even saying <laughs> one or two drops of the tea tree oil with the pseudo cream then i put it on my spots if you are sensitive so i wouldn't put this around this area because it will go red tea tree oil is very strong so they always advise you to use a carrier oil so you can use like almond oil or coconut oil and mix that with this before you add this just to kind of break this one down a bit because it's really strong and this is what i do for spots this is a pound from savers a pound guys but you can find tea tree oil pretty much everywhere i will find the link to this exact one but if you have a local savers look there because it's one pound you cannot beat one pound so <laughs> yeah this is what i do for spots pseudo cream you can find everywhere boots super drug everywhere i've had this tub for so long <laughs> and it's been through a lot <laughs> i use it for everything insect bite spots something burns me sunburn everything pseudo cream is for everything <laughs> um so that's what i usually do for spots i think i have covered my my basic products for face pretty much all of it i'm gonna move on to body so with body lotion i'm a palmer's girl yeah so i've used palmer's cocoa butter palmer's coconut oil body lotion palmer's shea butter body lotion and currently i'm on <laughs> the palmer's vitamin e body lotion i've just recently started using this just because in summer i like using the cocoa butter one in winter then in summer i just like to use a lotion that's a bit more lighter because when you sweat i don't like the sticky feeling that you get so this is the one i'm using at the moment so for body lotion i just stick to palmers i am someone that has normal skin like body wise i have normal skin however my legs love to get dry every now and again so the trick that i use is i use a lotion first then i go in with an oil so you can do this in winter especially winter when the weather is just dry you just feel dry you can use this step so you use your lotion first then you use an oil to lock in the moisture any oil of your choice that you like to use on your body but i use this one i use the palmer skin therapy oil this one i got because i had really bad burns a few years ago on my chest i had blisters i had really bad scarring in fact i'm gonna put a picture somewhere there and this was the oil that i used and it didn't scar it was it was a bad burn i had huge blisters on my chest especially you know your chest is sensitive so i was using this for a long time on that then when that went away i decided look i'm gonna stick to it because it's a really good oil so it works they say it works for scars stretch marks dry damaged skin and even skin tone aging skin i just like how it feels so i pair it with my moisturizer for times when my skin is a bit dry if you have stretch marks and it itches because sometimes when stretch marks is a bit dry it itches then you can use this on it because it's it's nice for that kind of thing 
um yeah so this is what i do for body wise um this is a bit pricey i think it's 11 pounds but it's okay it's a good investment and it lasts a long time um for body lotion body moisturizer just go for whatever works for you um okay so i also wanted to talk about um since we're on skincare like what i do when i shave because i feel like that kind of is skincare right i think so so i have coarse hair and if you have coarse hair and you don't wax or get laser and you shave you know the struggle my sister or my brother you know that you will be getting ingrown hairs you will be getting razor bumps and it's not very nice i know i know i know so if you're someone that struggles with that what you want to do or well, what i do for, that i find helps is you never want to shave on bare skin so you don't just want to go in with the shaving stick you always want to use like um shaving cream shaving gel of your choice if it's near the intimate area then go for one that's gentle for that kind of area as well Femme fresh that's one that's good for you know those kind of areas as well but yeah because you don't want to get these bumps and stuff you always want to shave with a layer of something on be it coconut oil or a lotion or like a shaving cream a shaving gel one that works for you yeah then what i do is first of all i cleanse so use whatever sponge loofah that you use to wash your skin to wash your skin first of all just to like get rid of dead skin cells then use your shaving gel shaving cream shave as usual and when you're done you want to use a body scrub i find it really really helps so choose a body scrub of your choice i like using one that's sugar a sugar body scrub so i use this palmer's one oh on the topic of the shaving gel this is what i use the femme fresh one i find this one is really gentle for like intimate areas as well because i ain't about to do no irritations <laughs> so this is the one that i use in terms of shaving what's this even a shaving cream this is a shaving cream it says two in one shower and shave cream so you can find this everywhere super drug boots this is the shaving cream that i use and i always like to use like i said after i've shaved i want to use a body scrub as well just to you know get rid of the extra dead skin cells because i feel like that's sometimes what pushes just makes the hair stay down or you know it's just how your hair is but this actually does help so i go in with like a sugar body scrub then you know you wash it off be it your legs wherever you're shaving really then i use a post shave balm so with the post shave balm you know this what i spoke about with like the pseudo cream and the tea tree oil you can use that mixture with a bit of coconut oil as a post shave balm and it really helps or if that's just a bit long to mix up get yourself a no, post shave balm of your choice you can find any i use the firm fresh one just simply because you know i want to stick to being gentle <laughs> no irritations here so i use the firm fresh one and i put a few drops of tea tree oil in it because tea tree oil is antibacterial antifungal all that kind of thing and i just put it on my skin so when those spots start coming you go in with it even more and it really just helps the next day is just kind of eased off you're good you're good to go so i think i'm gonna do a separate video on like a shave routine like in there and also always choose a good razor right so you want something that's four blades and above anything lower sometimes i feel just doesn't help and always use a fresh fresh blade as well because you don't want one that stay too long because that's when yeah it's a bit blunt and yeah it just doesn't work well i also use a trimmer so like i said i think that's a separate video so i think i've pretty much covered everything for today we've done the skin bits we've done face and body bits and we've gone a bit into like you know shaving routine all of that i know it's a lot of information but i hope you guys have found it useful or helpful summer is coming you want to get your legs out you want to shave you want to get your skin looking right but you want to do it all on a budget so i hope this video has helped as usual i will put everything in the description box i'm hoping to have a video out every week i've been a bit off because a girl's got a degree to bag so i've been a bit busy in that sense but yeah if you found it useful 
then please like it share it let someone else benefit from it share the love leave a comment down below if you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye